Welcome to the studio. 2024 has seen some incredible advancements in 3D printing, and we're going to go over four of the best printers on the market this year, but 2024 isn't over just yet. In fact, this machine right here is the Creality K1 SE. It's a brand new machine, uh, and there's content coming on it very soon, but the actual reason for it sitting here on the bench is because it's hiding or blocking a brand new unreleased 3D printer right there. And uh, that could very well be a contender for the best 3D printer of 2024. Besides these four, the Prusa Mark IV, the Bamboo Lab A1, the Sobel SV-08, and the Creality K series, I have three honorable mentions that uh, I want to include because they are just really good printers too. So sit back, relax, and be sure to comment below and tell me which ones you think are the best 3D printers of 2024. And of course, tell me if I missed any. All right, so the first printer is the Prusa Mark IV series, right? And recently in 2024, they just released the brand new Mark IV S. Now, I have not used a Mark IV, but I have seen the print quality. Um, I have printers uh, from Prusa. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of printers from Prusa, so I know their build quality. And uh, the results of that machine, from what I've seen, put that machine definitely up here in, in, the in I would say, the top tier as far as the best three printers of 2024. Now, it's probably going to be the last of the printers uh, that we see uh, in that series from uh, Prusa. I just don't think that you can advance the Mark IV any further. I mean, we might see a Mark IV, what, S Plus um, or something like that maybe next year, but... Uh, Prusa builds fantastic machines and the print quality is amazing and of course their firmware and their printing experience from uh, the slicer, Prusa slicer, right through uh, to the prints is amazing. So that's why Prusa obviously on the list. The next printer is the Bamboo Lab A1, and that is a mid-sized bed slinger from Bamboo. Matter of fact, it's the largest of the Bamboo Lab bed slingers that are out there, and it was released about nine or ten months ago. And the reason that printer um, is here on my list of one of the, I guess, four best printers of 2024 is because that is a really fast bed slinger at an incredible entry-level price. And it has the potential for multicolor. And I really think that Bamboo Lab, with their AMS system, the, you know, the multicolor system that they offer for their printers, really changed the game. And it's made the decision uh, for what people consider the best 3D printer um, a lot more clear. And so low entry-level, high-quality prints, just such a good machine, and I think it changed uh, a lot of what people think 3D printing is and what it's capable of. And so that's why that printer is on my list. And the next printer on the list is the Sobel SV-08. Now I know you're questioning why that printer is on the list, and that you're probably thinking it's not very popular. Well, the truth is, I think it was pretty innovative of Sobel to come along and mass produce basically a Voron 2.4 in a relatively large size with a very well thought out assembly process. So within an hour, you have a functioning Voron 2.4 essentially that will produce absolutely fantastic results. And uh, so people get the option of tinkering and upgrading and playing with a Voron, uh, but they can do that without hours and hours, days and days or weeks of assembly. So I really think that that one deserves to be on the list of 2024's best 3D printers. Now, of course, if you disagree, right, tell me in the comments below on any one of these if you think that uh, they shouldn't be on the list or if there should be a different one in place of these. Now, the last one here on this list is the Creality K series. And I think Creality changed the trajectory of their entire company with the K-Series 3D printers being in, you know, Core XY, super fast, brand new slicer. They changed their experience and they changed what people really see uh, out of Creality. Now, I almost, in place of the K-Series, I almost wanted to put the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE on this list. And I wanted to because the Ender series of printers from Creality have always been their staple and a lot of love uh, for those printers and a lot of, uh, you know, maybe hatred too. But the SE is just such a good machine for beginners. Low price, I'm talking what, sub $200 uh, for a machine that a lot of people are getting a lot of value out of. And I felt like that's potentially um, a machine that should be on that list. But again, tell me in the comments below if you think it should be or not. Do you know it goes perfectly with the best 3D printers of 2024? How about the best filament of 2024? That's right. Polymaker is a generous sponsor of our show, and they've just recently released their Panchroma 
and Fibron lines of filament. So this is a fantastic set of new recipes, new spools, all sorts of awesomeness. And Fibron is uh, their engineering grade uh, line of filaments. So go check them out. I'll have a link on the screen and in the description. All right, back to the content. I did want to mention a few other printers that I really wanted to kind of include in, like I thought like maybe the top four 3D printers of 2024, but I don't know. I, I, I just don't think that they made the cut, but here's the thing. This machine right here, company, FL Sun. FL Sun has the T1 and the S1. This is the T1. Uh, the S1 is actually on its way here. Um, I got a, an email just recently, the S1. All the issues that they had with the S1 have been uh, fixed according to FL Sun, and it's actually on a pallet on an airplane to me right now, so content coming on that soon. But FL Sun is producing incredible deltas that are at speeds of 1,000 millimeters per second and faster, and also producing print results that equal uh, Creality's K-Series and equal Bamboo Lab uh, quality uh, prints. So that does definitely deserves an honorable mention. Another printer that deserves an honorable mention is Chidi. So Chidi uh, this year, was it this year? No, last year, Chidi released the X Plus 3 and the X Max 3. And then this year, Chidi released the Q1 Pro. And those printers have heated uh, chambers. And I still feel like heated chambers are such a game changer in our industry for people who are printing with more uh, engineering or exotic filaments. And I really think that uh, Chidi deserves an honorable mention for that. Now, the last printer uh, that I think should get an honorable mention here uh, in this video is Elegoo and that Orange Storm Giga. I know that the Orange Storm uh, had some issues when it was first released. I don't have one. Uh, matter of fact, man, you'd have to find a place for that uh, to be able to create content and still, I don't know, walk around. But ultimately that Orange Storm Giga, I think gets an honorable mention because it is just an incredible printer. I think for the price and the size, and uh, the bugs getting worked out of it, I think I'm starting to see a lot more prints where people are enjoying it and having a good time. What an amazing machine and a lot of research and a lot of development and a lot, I mean, just there's just the sheer manufacturing logistics behind that machine is incredible. So um, I really think that that giant machine, it like what, I don't know, go tell me the size of it, like what, four foot by four foot um, by four foot. It's huge. So anyway, tell me in the comments below if you agree or disagree with any of these printers being kind of at the top of 3D printers in 2024 and being the best. Um, I'd love to know what you think. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, we're a small channel and it helps us out a lot. And I'd also like to thank all of our YouTube and Patreon supporters. Um, I couldn't do this without you. Thank you very much. And we will see you in the next one.